Now, just a bit about neurotransmitters. This is relating to things like memory formation and uh, word retrieval. Neurotransmitters are just chemical compounds uh, that are manufactured either in the neuron itself or by the human body. They're also found in the gut. Um, there are over 60 of these types of neurotransmitters. It can be something you know, as simple as zinc uh, or something a little more complicated, acetylcholine, which is associated with memory. So each of these neurotransmitters has its place. There are what are called excitatory neurotransmitters, things that, you know, that you stir up, and things that are inhibitory. So for example, um, you may have noticed what with some uh, chemo patients or people who've had brain damage, they have an inability, inability to inhibit um, unpleasant thoughts. So for example, um, this is my friend Yusuf over here. Let's say if he was wearing a ridiculously orange plaid shirt here, I might think, what is he, what is he doing wearing that shirt to, to be here? Um, but I wouldn't say it. That's an inhibitory neurotransmitter operating. Well, if, you, if I said, Yusuf, what are you doing wearing that shirt today? That means that neurotransmitter is not operating very well. And so that's when you, you'll find that is another symptom of a neuro, neurotransmitter deficit or communication problem between the cells. So um, what's important is that um, your diet can contribute to the manufacturing of these neurotransmitters. So what you eat becomes a structure or a chemical inside the brain. Now this is probably the most technical portion, but just to understand as we're moving into how does chemotherapy affect the brain cells, cells of the body, just look very quickly at the cell cycle. Um, basically, normal cells aren't supposed to like touch each other a lot. They're supposed to communicate, but they don't really touch each other. But that's called contact inhibition. And there's, in this cell cycle, there's actually control over this cycle. Generally speaking, a cell will go through about seven iterations, seven generations of, of itself until it has a planned death called apoptosis. And so this is, mitosis is where it decides, is it time to, 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 to die, or is it time to go and regenerate and go through another round? And DNA um, also controls, has a controlling mechanism here as well. So cancer represents the uncontrolled growth. Instead of some cells dying off, it continues to live. And then based on the, the attraction of blood vessels, it will continue to grow and take over other cells. 